welcome, thanks for joining me. I wanted to try something different today, and I saw a video come up, and I haven't gone through it yet, but it says, are you tone deaf or musically gifted? And I thought well, that'd be quite fun to do. Obviously, on my channel you see that I attempt to write songs and do music, but I also took a DNA test quite a few years ago, and it said that I'm naturally tone deaf. Um, and I, I don't, I have the genes and people with similar genes aren't very good at matching pitch. So I thought this would be quite a cool test to see how tone deaf I am. Um, or if the years of practicing has improved my natural tone deafness. So I found it, it's called Pardon My Piano. Well, you wouldn't believe it, I did the test, <laughs> put my answers down, uploaded it all to edit and to YouTube, put onto YouTube, and none of the audio recorded. <laughs> none of it. None of the screen audio, and none of me talking. So it's just silence all the way through. So, obviously I've done the test now, I'm not going to lie. I have done the test, I've got my final score. I won't give it away, but I will show my answers um, on the screen if I can, what I put. But, um, I can't show the notepad anymore because it's got all the other answers and I don't want to ruin it for you. So, let's go Two play or three again. answers, but only one answer will be the correct one. You will get about 10 seconds after each question to think and write down your answer. Feel free to pause and replay each question before answering. I will provide the correct answers after each question yeah, and at the end of the video yeah, so that you can tally your final score. Are you ready to start? Here we go. Question number one. You will hear two notes played one after the other. Is the second note A, higher, or B, lower than the first note? I put the correct answer is A higher question number two just like the previous question you will again hear two notes played one after the other is the second note A lower or B the same The correct answer no. is B, the same. Question number three. Ones, right? Once again, you will hear two notes played one after the other. Is the second note A, higher, mm -hmm. B, lower, or C, the same? The correct answer is B. B, lower. Question number four. You will hear two notes separated by a five second gap. Are these notes A, the same, or B, different? The correct answer is B, different. How you find the notes first for? The single notes so far, I've, I've been fine with just the intervals up and down. They've been okay. How are you getting on? All good? Question number five. Once again, you will hear two notes separated by a five second gap. Are these notes A, the same, or B, different the correct answer is a the same 
I put I yet. Question number six. You will hear a chord followed by a single note. Does this note A fit together with the chord? Or B clashes with it? What do you think of that one? The correct answer is A. It fits together. I put A. Originally, that one, like, I got an A. I didn't understand the question properly, but it sounded like the melody could fit over the chord. So I think that's what he meant by fit together. Would the melody fit over the chord if you were singing it or playing it on a different instrument? Um, so that's how I thought the question was worded. Question number seven. You will hear another chord followed by a single note. Does this note, A, fit together, or B, clashes with the chord? What did you think of that one? The correct answer is B, it clashes. It sounded like it Question didn't number fit. Eight. It's like, oh. This time, you will hear a scale followed by a single note. Does this note fit together with the scale? Or B, clashes with the scale? The correct answer is A, fit yes. together. I'll put A on that one. Question number nine. You will hear a chord followed by a short melody. Does this melody, A, fit together, or B, clashes? <laughs> The correct answer is B. It clashes with the chord. Question number 10. Same as before, you will hear a chord followed by another short melody. Does this melody, A, fit together, or B, clashes with the chord? Number 10 was it? I'll put that. The correct answer is A. Fit together. Question number 11. There are two main types of tonalities in Western music, major and minor. Major scales and chords sound open and bright, and they are used to convey happy emotions. On the other hand, minor scales and chords sound closed and dark, and they are used to convey sad emotions. For this example, you will first hear a chord followed by a short melody in the same tonality. Does this example sound A, major and happy, or B, minor and sad? Put that. The that correct answer is B, minor or sad. Question number 12. Same as before, you will first hear a chord followed by a short melody in the same tonality. Does this example sound A, major and happy, or B, minor and sad? What do you think? Pause it if you need to listen again. Need a video for oh. your business? Find me and many other skilled creators on Fiverr. Or you...
That's what I put. The correct answer is A, major and happy. But that was an awkward one for me. I struggled with that one. Every musical phrase or melody contains a dissonance and a consonance or a resolution. You can think of it as tension and release. Or a question. How are you? And today? an answer. In this example, you will first hear a chord followed by a short melody. Does this melody sound A, resolved, like an answer, or B, unresolved, like a question? Oh, I got this one wrong. Well, I put... Oh, I won't tell you yet. I you did mind up, but I put that. The correct answer is A. Result like an answer. Now I can sort of hear what he Question means. Question 14. It's the way wrong. Similarly, you will first hear a chord followed by a short musical phrase. Does this melody sound A. Resolved like an answer? Or B. Unresolved like a question. Where did I put B question? What do you think, A or B? The correct answer is B, unresolved. Yep. And finally, the last question. You will hear seven consecutive ascending notes followed by one single note after a five second pause. There's a chance this last note could be a repetition of one of the seven consecutive notes. Is the last note A, repeat it, or B, not repeat it? Got this one wrong. I, I still can't hear it now. The correct answer is A. Repeat it. Yeah, I put B. Thank you for taking this test. I'm sure you found it interesting. Feel free to share your results in the comment section below. I would love to know That's the questions result. that were difficult for you. If you think that this test was valuable to you, please don't forget to hit the like button and... So yeah, it's Pardon My Piano, that's the guy who made the test. I actually scored... Yeah, 15... Ah, 15, they're my results here. So I'm not tone deaf, that's one thing. But I realise this is for non-musicians. I mean, I haven't done music for quite a while now. And I've only recently just started really recording again, doing stuff. But 13 out of 15 for a musician, whether you've been playing a lot or not, I don't know if that's good or not. Those those last three questions really stumped me. Um, don't know. How did you get on? What was the ones that struggled with the most? Was it the last three? Or did you struggle with the intervals as well, like going up and then going down? Sometimes that can throw people off. And I also think certain chords, major or minor, can actually sound quite similar, especially if they play like a minor seven or a major or major seven. Actually, a major seven does sound happy-ish, but when when that pure chord changes slightly, just like the basic chords with the variations or the sevenths, it does change the tone, and that makes you feel like the mood has changed. So sometimes I don't always hear like the minor seven is a minor. Sometimes it just sounds, it sounds different. And sometimes my brain goes, oh, it's a major, but then it's not. So then when you try and play it on the guitar and match it, you get it wrong. Anyway, Waffling, if you like these videos and you want to do more sort of on-the-spot quizzes with me, then give me a thumbs up, a like, a comment, let me know your scores, and we'll try some more of these. And let me know if there's any other 
ones you've seen as well. Are there other music tests we can do together? Or I want to say your IQ because I've, I've found him massively, but we could do them as well, question and answers as well. I'm up for that, but we'll speak soon. Just thought I'd try something different, a little game in between my other videos I'm uploading. Be one out very soon actually about YouTube as well. Um, the reasons why my channel doesn't grow and isn't growing, and it's not just because of my face, it's things that I don't do, and maybe I should start trying to do in the future. Anyway, take care. Hope you scored well, and I'll speak to you soon.